गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक अगेन ग्रेट टेन मैथमेटिक्स सेकेंड चैप्टर पोलिनोमियल आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल एट योर होम इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट थ्री एग्जाम्पल वन टू एंड थ्री नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी कवर एग्जाम्पल फोर एंड एग्जाम्पल फाइव ओके लेट्स बिगेन वॉट इज एग्जाम्पल फॉर एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट थ्री अकॉर्डिंग एन सी आर टी सिलेबस एग्जाम्पल फॉर पेज थर्टी सिक्स ऑन डिवाइडिंग एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्र प्लस एक्स प्लस टू बाय पोलिनोमियल जी ऑफ एक्स द क्वेश्चन एंड द रिमाइंडर वेर एक्स माइनस टू एंड माइनस टू एक्स प्लस फोर रिस्पेक्टिवली फाइव जी ऑफ एक्स अवर टारगेट इज Find g of x, and what we have? We have polynomial, quotient, and remainder. Okay. First of all, we write what we have. Answer. Before that, in previous chapter, as we know that if we divide six by two, we divide six. By two, then what happen? Two three are six, and here we have zero. Okay, six is a divider, two is a divisor, three is a quotient, and zero is a remainder. <coughs> If we want to represent six as a form of a division algorithm, then what happen? We write six is equal to Product of these two quantity. That means product of divisor into quotient, divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay. We use same logic here. Here we use number, but here we use as a form of polynomial. Okay. We know that what is the p of x? Divide dividend. G of x is a divisor. Q of Q of x is a quotient and R of x is a remainder. This is a relation between divider, divi, divisor, quotient and remainder. Okay. Now look here. Answer. Here what we have? We have P of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2. What is the quotient? Q of x is equal to x minus 2. What is the remainder? R of x is equal to minus 2x plus 4. And we have to find g of x is equal to what? Okay. Now look here. What is the relation? All of them. Here we write p of x is equal to product of these two in divisor into Quotient. Therefore, g x into q of x plus remainder. We use this formula here. It is called division algorithm. In chapter one, real number, we see theorem of division algorithm. Therefore, we write by using division algorithm. Dividend, or simply you can write, dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Okay. Now what is the dividend? P of x is equal to divisor. That means g of x. Into quotient that means q of x and plus remainder. Okay. Now our aim is find g of x. Therefore, we transfer r of x from opposite side. It becomes negative and q of x going on division. Therefore, we write. Therefore, p of x. Okay. Minus r of x. Minus R of x is equal to G of x 
into q of x. Okay. What we do? We do transfer r of x on opposite side. It becomes negative. Now this is in a multiplication. That why going one division. Therefore, p of x minus r of x upon q of x is equal to g of x. Okay. Now put all this value in the, this formula and we calculate what is the g of x, which is our n. Okay. Now put what is the p x? P x is x cube minus p x square. Plus x plus two minus r of x. Here we have negative sign. Therefore, we make a bracket. What is r of x minus two x plus four minus two x plus four? Okay. What is everyone upon q of x? What is the q of x? X minus two. X minus two is equal to g of x. We write also here g of x or Here doesn't matter. G of x. Now open this bracket. When we open this bracket, all signs are changed because in front of bracket there is a negative sign. Therefore, x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 minus minus plus 2x and minus plus minus 4 upon x minus Okay. Now we have how many terms with x variable? There are two terms. That means 2x plus x become 3x, and 2 minus 4 become minus 2. Therefore, we write x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2. Okay. We write here. Therefore. Therefore, x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 upon x minus 2 equal to g of x. Here we have g of x. You can write also left hand side or right hand side. Here we write left hand side. Okay. Now, with help of divide. Now what we do? We do this polynomial. We can divide by this and find g of x. Okay. Now x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 divide x minus 2. What is our requirement? X cube and we have x. Therefore, we multiply with x square. Okay. Now multiply x square with each term. X into x square we get x cube minus 2x square. Now change the sign minus plus here x cube x cube cancel. We have negative and positive. That's what we do it subtraction minus x square and put it down plus 3x minus 2. Now this time we want to minus x square. Therefore we just multiply with minus x. Now multiply x with each term. Minus x into x minus x square. Minus x minus two minus minus plus two x. Now change this sign minus plus minus. Okay. Answer we have x minus two. Simply both are same. Just simply multiply with one. 1 into x that means x. 1 into minus 2 that means minus 2. Change the sign minus plus. We have remainder zero. Okay. Now what is the division? Division is this. Therefore, our g of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1. X square minus x plus 1. And hence the g of x. Therefore, you can write our final answer is g of x. This is say g of x, and this is the final answer. Okay, I hope you all are.
अंडरस्टूड ओके ओके नाउ सी एग्जाम्पल फाइव वॉट एग्जाम्पल फाइव गिव एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ओलिनोमियल पी ऑफ एक्स जी ऑफ एक्स क्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड आर ऑफ एक्स बीच सेटिस्फाइड डिविजन अल्गोरिथम एंड दिस कंडीशन दिस इज अ फर्स्ट वन सेकेंड वन एंड वन मोर एग्जाम्पल थर्ड वन इन योर टेक्स बुक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी हियर वी हैव टू चूज एनी टू पोलिनोमियल्स विथ डिग्री पी ऑफ एक्स एंड डिग्री क्यू ऑफ एक्स बोथ आर सेम देर आर मेनी एग्जाम्पल यू राइट एनी एग्जाम्पल एंड यू मेक योर सेल्फ हियर एग्जाम्पल If we write x cube, five x cube, but here keep in your mind one thing: when we have to equal degree of p of x and degree of q of x, that that means p of x x is what dividend and q of x is quotient. If we have to want the both degree are same, then we have to divide some constant number. Suppose we take here five. Then what happens? Five x cube. Therefore, five x cube. Five x cube. This is a small example, and remainder will be zero. Okay. Now here look. What is the degree of uh, p of x? It's a three. And what is the degree of q of x? It's also three. This is a degree of q of degree of q of x. And this is a degree of degree of p of x. Both are same, and which is our requirement. Okay. Now satisfy the division algorithm. Obviously, it satisfies the division algorithm. Or you can write uh, p of x is equal to p of x is equal to q of x or g of x into q of x. Plus r of x. That means put what is the g of x five. What is the q of x x cube. And what is the remainder zero. Therefore we have five x cube. And it is a five x cube p of x. It's a satisfier of division algorithm rule. Okay. You can take any example which is your mind, which is in your mind. Okay. Now look second example. Here we want to degree of quotient and degree of remainder both are same. We went want to choose example which satisfy this condition. Suppose we take x raised to seven plus x cube divide x raised to four. Now what happen? Look, what is our requirement? X raised to seven. That's what we multiply x cube. X raised to seven minus cancel and put it down x cube. Look here, degree of quotient and degree of remainder both are same. Okay, therefore we write degree of quotient is equal to degree of remainder. And also this example satisfies division algorithm. You can check yourself. Okay. Now third example, last example. Look, third example. Degree of r of x is equal to zero. We take uh, x raised to five plus six divide x cube. Then what happen? X cube we require x is to five therefore x square x is to five minus cancel six that's it what is the degree of remainder this is a constant term therefore degree of any constant term is zero degree of r of x is equal to zero because this six can be written as six into x is to zero okay this variable. What is the degree? Degree is zero. Therefore, our aim is satisfied here. Okay. I hope all students are understood and 
practice this exercise 2.3 again and again if you have any doubt you can ask me in our live session till then take care yourself have a good day thank you very much